is Roy Lilly. Frankly, when it appeared on my screen, I thought it was an April Fool prank. But no, it's not a joke. It's genuine, an email from a reader. It concerns software used by his GP practice. And we all know how irritating filling in on-screen forms can be and how sometimes life's happenstance doesn't fit neatly into tick boxes. This is not one of those stories. This is a tale of something that could have been catastrophic and, for all I know, may well be. We all heard the expression not knowing your you-know-what from your elbow. This adds a new refinement, not knowing your eyeball from your ball. Well, in this case, your testicle. Our reader, a sensible, grown-up bloke with a distinguished career who clearly knows what's what and the difference between his you-know-what and his elbow, tells us he was having trouble down below and sensibly sought the help of his GP. Such is the way of things at his practice, there's an online form to fill in. He explained, and I quote from the form, second episode of severe pain in the left testicle, lack of mobility in the left groin, self-examination doesn't feel any hernia as far as I can tell, testicle feels different compared to the other side. Sensible, succinct, he went on to explain he tried to no avail, self-medicating for the pain and reiterated he wanted to see a GP. Next, a practice email turned up offering a phone, text or email response by a particular date and time, along with a copy of what he'd already reported and a further form asking additional questions about his eye problem. Yes, (laughs) that's right. You heard that right. His eye problem. Eye problem. Now, for your disbelief, astonishment, and no doubt private mirth, with his his permission, I've linked to a copy of the form in today's e-letter, and you can read it. I've redacted the obvious bits. Now, blokes are encouraged to self-examine their bits in much the same way women are advised to examine themselves for breast lumps. Misshapes and tenderness might be an indication of orchitis, a swelling or inflammation of one or both testicles. Treatment with an antibiotic is the standard approach and usually fixes the problem. It might be hydrocell, a type of swelling that needs treatment, a cyst maybe, swollen lymph gland, who knows. A doctor would have to be on the ball to arrive at the right diagnosis, so to speak, not on the screen. On the other hand, the ball might be in another court. A sinister dance in the ballroom with testicular cancer. Our reader is since on his way to a scan, no antibiotic cover, and well, I'm not a doctor, but let's hope the GP hasn't dropped the ball. That might be the end of the story. But no, we need to keep this particular ball rolling. A few questions spring to my mind, and to yours too, no doubt. Is this the first time this software has thrown a curved ball not knowing the difference between an eyeball and the other type, is a howler and obvious. Is this user error? Is the form confusing for the user or the responder? What about the potential for confusing two conditions that are closer, not just anatomically, but in name or symptoms? What kind of a disaster might that lead to? The questions the form should have asked our reader probably include a history of nausea, vomiting, pain to the touch or pain all the time, blood in his urine or semen, are the lymph glands swollen? This isn't so odd ball, is it? Basic stuff. Doesn't this scream out for a consultation with the doctor eyeball to eyeball? Not Is your double vision getting worse and can you lift both arms up as much as normal and can you smile normally? It's comical at best, monumentally stupid anyway and potentially dangerous. How did a practice manage to send this out? Don't they know about clinical governance? Can we really have confidence in an NHS that substitutes forms for examinations 
artificial intelligence for the real thing and proper doctoring for IT gimmicks. There's a thing in management called failure demand. The demand, costs, and in this case risk, created by failure to get things right first time. This is a classic. More important, how many practices are using this software? And how many patients are misled, misdiagnosed, their symptoms misjudged and their ball kicked into the long grass? NHS England needs to take a serious look at this. Thanks for listening. This has been Roy Lilly and I will speak again real soon. Bye for now.